Let's go keep this round rolling, man. I'm trying to read this dude's name. I can't even read it. But this individual, this is who like half the audience came to see. And this is his first time trying to take a stab at this comedy thing. Could you please clap it up for this comedy song? Is it Blaine? Blake. Blake. Well, you better write here than that, man. That's your name. Blake. Masquerado? Masquerado. All right. <laughs> How we doing? How we doing? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So for y'all that don't know me, my name is Blake. I am a comedian tonight. I don't box, but I'm gonna say I'm a boxer. Uh, I have a face tattoo that says I'm ugly. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm looking for a job. And I've been to jail. So if you guys know anybody, I'm right here. That was dry as fuck, really? <laughs> all right, so let's jump into some bullshit. Fuck it, let's just jump into it. All right, relationships. Relationships are different today. I cannot tell you how different it is. You know, how can you tell you're comfortable with your partner? Me? You fart next to your partner. The harder you fart, the harder the love. <laughs> you know my girl actually just farted in front of me today. That shit sounded like a ninja Kawasaki. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I was like, damn, babe, you love me. <laughs> so I sent one back. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't pack enough gas, so I ain't getting pussy tonight. <laughs> My shit said, Bruh. I love you a little bit. <laughs> My cousin's handicapped. <laughs> He's got scoliosis, you know, that shit that made me like this. Okay, I can do that because my cousin's handicapped. <laughs> he got beat up by a midget. <laughs> it was a fair fight. I don't care, he was standing. Little man was up, though. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. My cousin got his ass whooped. I didn't help him, because I didn't want my ass whooped. <laughs> You know, my cousin's, his legs touch, you know, like, like, like you're holding a piss. <laughs> <laughs> so, the little man had a plan. Go for the kneecaps. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, my cousin, he got one good arm. That shit, swole as a motherfucker. But the other one, you know, is like, sound like this. So he can't hit you with the knuckles. <laughs> He hits you with the top of the hand. You know that look like this? It was a good fight. It was a good fight. My cousin's a gangster though. He's a gangster. He holds his own. He raps. Not very good, but he raps. Man, he told me, don't step in at this. I said, alright, you got it. I didn't step in. I just watched my cousin get his ass with by a little person. Damn, when he falls down though, it's a wrap. It's either, it's a hit or miss. Cause if you put him on his back, it's like a turtle. <laughs> Can't get up right. Need a little help. So, the middle little man put him on his back. Now my cousin just wobbling like a fucking turtle here. Trying to get up, I'm over here hyping him up. Get up, cuz! Get up, yo! You gonna let little man do you like that? Oh hell no, let me kick him real quick. He said, nah, I got this. He didn't got it. <laughs> My man got fucked up, and I had to drive him home after. The worst drive. You don't want to lose a fight and get in the car with those people that you got in with. It's the fucking worst. You know, I love my mom. I really do. More now that she's dead. You know, she reminds me my mother really reminded me of a chihuahua. A big head and could talk for days. My mom, what the fuck are you saying? Shut up! Man, but I love her, I love her. Rest in peace, rest in fucking peace. Leave me the fuck alone. Man. You know, I was having sex recently. I saw a pimple 
on my girl's ass. I couldn't tell if it was the asshole or a pimple. So I went for it. I went for it. I went for it. I'm gonna be honest. What the fuck do you think happened? Um, I ended up just putting my thumb in her ass. Uh, it, it wasn't a pimple, it was just her asshole. Man, man, you know, it's my first time. It's like, I thought this place would be a lot better. This shit is like mildew, the definition of mildew. You look at this place and you just look at your wet laundry. The light is not even right. <laughs> It's like all fucked up. This shit looking like my cousin's legs. <laughs> but, you know, I'm gonna leave on that note. You know, my name is Blake once again. Remember me. Clap it up for Blake Mastrado. First time he had the confidence. You know what I'm saying? You can tell you get bitches, man, you know what I'm saying? He, he's like, yeah, you know, I think it's a good idea if I just take you home and just bend you over. I think that would be a really good idea. Would you like that, mom? That's how you, that's how you bad this motherfucker smooth as hell. That's, it's the confidence. You got confidence, man. And plus, you, you, you young, and you still got all your hair. You still got that, that hair privilege where you could just get a fucked up haircut, but you can't because you can just grow that shit back, man. You know what I'm saying? Wish I could do that, just grow my hair any type of way or whatever. I'm just jealous. I pull my hair, I, I have my shit, just like he look like um, John Carl Esposito do the right thing. You remember do the right thing, the black dude, the... Okay, John Carl Esposito plays Gus Fring in, 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 in Breaking Bad.